Well, hello there, everyone. My name is Adam, and welcome back to Golden Sun. Last time, we had just ventured into the Mogal Forest and discovered it has a bad case of Lost Woods going on. We did discover the gimmick of this place, and in so doing, we know that, to start with, we need to go this way. From here, there's only one path we can take, but then we get put out here. And immediately thrown into a battle. Lovely! So, let's just deal with that, shall we? We are getting to a point where we can take things out fairly quickly, and here we go. We learn a rather nice ability in Ragnarok. It is a personal favorite ability of mine, just because it's so flashy and ridiculous. And so, coming down this way, nothing we can do down here, but if we go up here, we encounter some moles. So, we'll save Ragnarok for now. It's only a single target attack, so not exceptionally useful here. But we'll, we, we will use it soon enough, don't worry. It's a powerful single target attack, much like Garrett's Heat Wave. Although it has a much longer and flashier animation. We take care of the moles, and then we can come up here and use our synergy. Well, from the right place, we can use our synergy. Hmm. I guess we can't use our synergy. Well, that is unfortunate. Oh, wait. I think you have to use it from up here. Hmm. Apparently not. Ah, oh, there we go. Just very picky about the location. And we'll go ahead and give that to... Go ahead and give those to Ivan. Ah, yes. The hard nut. So let's see, who has the lowest defense? Well, Ivan, of course. But that's really not going to change very much, so we won't bother giving it to him. We'll just boost up Garrett's defense more. And while we're at it, We'll also go ahead and give the Water of Life to Garrett. Because, strange as it may seem to give it to the slowest member of our party, he's also the toughest and most likely to survive. He's also the toughest and most likely to survive. He's also the toughest and most likely to survive. Yes, that joke was very bad, I'm sorry. But that is, an that is an another looping path. So obviously not the way we, we need to go from here. So if we come over this way, we find that we find another path, and it appears that it doesn't loop. Very nice. If we come down this way, we encounter some more menacing forest creatures that we can dispose of fairly simply. Ivan's plasma is getting quite powerful. And there goes that group of enemies. And coming down here, it turns out that was not the looping path. 
but we don't want to go that way just yet. And apparently we cannot escape from the bats. I'm sorry, I just don't like fighting bats. So, let's go ahead and heal up. And we'll head back up here. We came in from the left, so if we go to the right, we find... Enemies. Alright then. I'm sure we can handle them fairly easily. They are sturdy enough to survive a few attacks and manage to get some hits in on us. But only just, it looks like. And Garrett also levels up. As does... Well, when we find an apple here. Who else leveled up? Ah, Mia leveled up. And she learned Restore. Which is a energy we can only use in battle, apparently. Interesting. Can be used in battle. Remove sleep, stun, and delusion. Very nice. We haven't had to worry about most of those ailments so far, except sleep during the battle against Tret, but they are all very annoying statuses. Sleep is quite obvious, as, we, as we've been afflicted with. Stun is exactly what it says on the tin. It is this game's equivalent of paralysis. And delusion is this game's equivalent of something like darkness or blindness. Reduces your accuracy with physical attack. I believe that's the case anyway. I haven't had actually looked into the real mechanical benefits or effects of most status effects in this game. I just know that they're not exactly something you want to get hit with. Perhaps I'll actually look more into them at some point. Oh, Undead Sword. Well, that was unpleasant. It's rather curious to me the fact that so many enemies have unique little attacks like that that, in essence, all do the same or similar things that don't count as synergy attacks because we never learn them. And over there we see a Jin. We can't get to from here, but we can get to. Not this way, of course. We'll not worry about that for right now. And over here... We come to a, li a little bit of a puzzle. It involves moving this rock. Pushing this log, and moving this rock again. And in the chest we find an elven shirt. And this clothing boosts agility tremendously. So, who should we give this to? It would only be a one point increase for Isaac, but it would be a substantial increase to his agility. It would be a 5 point increase for Garrett, but a less substantial increase for his agility. A 4 point defense increase for Ivan, and a rather nice increase to his agility. Or a 5 point increase for Mia, and a rather nice increase to her agility as well. Now, Isaac is already quite fat. Ivan is clearly the fastest member in our party. And giving Garrett the item wouldn't make him faster than anyone else except Mia. But Mia is our healer, so it, it would be good to have her survive longer and be a little faster. So, we'll, we'll give the Elven shirt to Mia. It is interesting that the reason the agility increase wasn't the same for everyone is because it is a percentage increase. The Elven Shirt increases the wearer's agility by 50% while they have it equipped. 
Similarly, the turtle boost that we had a while back decreased the wearer's agility by, fi by fi 50%. Ah, a synergy stone. I'll make use of that. Go ahead and heal up, and then take that stone. And it disappears. Unfortunate. But, this is just another looping path. Nothing for us here. So, what if we go back this way? Well, we encounter more enemies, for one. Enemies that we can't seem to escape from. So, if they don't want to let us escape, we'll fight. Let's see if Mia's improved agility lets her act before these enemies this time. And it looks like it does. Somewhere. So, what's down this way? Another looping path, of course. Instead, if we come up this way, we can go around here. And we'll just get this bat out of our way. Poor thing. And another little puzzle with a rock. And then we can come down this way. And coming around here, we find gym. So let's go ahead and set up to absolutely pulverize this poor thing. And we can now show off the tier 3 summon for Jupiter Sin Jupiter Jin as well. So first we'll summon Ramses. Then we'll summon Kieran. Then we'll summon Brockne, Ivan, and then we'll summon Nere with Mia. Apparently, Brockne is a giant eagle that I accidentally skipped the summon of. Oh dear. And this djinn has some rather powerful sy synergy. I'm worried that it's not defeated yet. Our HP is rather low. There it goes. That was close. And so, with that, it joins our party. And as a result... The Venus Jin Quartz joined Aizen. Lovely. Exactly who we wanted it to join. And its effect in battle is, it revives a downed ally. That is very nice, though we will certainly have that available. And of course, this also does give us another djinn that we can use, to now summon the third tier Venus Summon. But, we did take a bit of a damage in that battle, so let's go ahead and heal up. And then we can get back to moving onward. And go this way. And... It just seems that we're not allowed to run from enemies around here. But, well, they want to fight. Or we to deny them, right? And down they go. Well, almost. It seems the death head was rather resistant. And we'll have Isaac go ahead and heal up Mia. And Ivan. Garrett should be fine with that little bit of damage. And we come back here, heading up this way. Another looping path. 
can't remember if I went that way before. And coming down here, we find uh, the next area. And another, another death head. Let's see if we can pick this one out. There we go. Nice and painless. And around here we find another little puzzle. Move this rock out of the way. And we can push this log into the river. And I haven't been doing so, so let me go ahead and show it again. If you use force on these tree stumps, it makes the ape inside jump out. Obviously, that particular ape wasn't very helpful, but in general, the apes will jump out of their stump and then run away down the correct path to proceed forward. If you're lost and can't figure it out by process of elimination, it is a very viable method to use, and strictly speaking, probably the one the game, s the game wants you to use, and that you're supposed to use to get through this area. But it is simple enough that you can just get through by simple brute force and process of elimination of where you can and can't actually go. After all, when everywhere but one path in, a, in, a, in an area is simply a looping path that doesn't lead anywhere, the number of places that you can go are fairly limited if you're bound to figure it out eventually. But we'll humor the game. Tell us to go that way, but what's this way? It leads us to another looping path. And we're right back here. So let's head south. And we won't even try to run away from this one. Let's just go ahead and hit them with everything we've got. Nice and painless. Just the way it should be. Well, that didn't sound pleasant. So, let's go ahead and make sure we're all healed up. And... Remember that there are shortcut keys to do this more quickly. And we'll save our game here, just to be sure. And proceed onward, and... Uh-oh. And we're confronted by the Killer Ape. Apparently, this rather large ape wasn't so happy that we've been messing around with his lesser fellows. So, here we are. Let's give it everything we've got. Well, our synergy has been blocked on Ivan. And as, as, as I said before, Bokne is a giant bird that fires lasers. rather decent amount of power. And the third tier Venus summon is Cybele. Which also does a rather respectable amount of damage. Now... Some of these summons are appearing to be doing more or less damage overall. And it's a rather subtle thing, but you can tell why if you watch the damage numbers. Watch the damage numbers when they come up in this next round of attacks. Oof, Ransack. Ragnarok does 90 damage, 
very nice animation as well. And you can see it does 90 damage with a single with a single exclamation mark. Mia casts ice. He does 46 damage, also with a single exclamation mark. Garrett casts heat wave, which does 72 damage with three exclamation marks. Now we weren't able to properly show it, but. we were to well Isaac has been unfortunately stunned which is rather unfortunate but we'll see though what the damage numbers mean in a, sh in a short time Isaac can move again And Ivan can use his synergy again. So we'll go ahead and unleash unleash these attacks. Oh no, Ivan has gone down. And so has the Killer Eight. And Isaac levels up from it and masters Quake Sphere, the next level of the Quakes of the Quake type synergy. And we get a douse drop. Well, that was something else. We'll give that to Mia, because douse seems like a mercury type synergy. And, well, while we're here, let's not forget about this apple. Boost attack, and so let's go ahead and give that to Garrett. Coming out here to the map, we wander for a little bit, see if we can't find the nearby town. No one, no, we're, we're not interested in fighting moles and bats. It would be lovely if we could run, thank you. And carrying on, we come to a town right here. Now let's quickly look around and find the local healer. There we are. Welcome, weary wanderers. What aid do you seek? Who shall I revive? Let's revive Ivan. 260 coins. Very nice. Ivan has been revived. That will be all for now. Thank you, healer. And so we'll come back out here and try to find the inn. Welcome to my inn. 40 gold coins? That's a fair price. So we'll rest up and heal up. And that is where we're going to stop for now. We've just arrived in a new town after all. I think exploring it should be left to its own devices. This video is already beginning to get long enough. So, until then, well, until then, see you next time everybody.